What's going on? I'm here with UFC middleweight Zach Cummings. He is fighting Ed Herman next weekend on UFC on ESPN 44. So this is going to be UFC fight number 14 for you, uh, an OG, a vet. So what, uh, what, what's kind of changed for you since, you know, fight one to fight 14? Uh, a broken body and years older now. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's just uh, settled in, you know, more here. It's like, I feel like I didn't really know exactly how how long I'd be able to kind of hang around. And, you know, once, you know, got in and started doing our stuff and uh, had a good run at 170. And then that that cut just got rough and, and rough. And so we decided to go to middleweight and, you know, had had four fights there. It was doing really well. Um, and this, I had been dealing with some really bad injuries and stuff. Uh, this kind of kind of floored me for a little bit, you know. So I was uh, like bedridden for like three months, uh, had surgery and just kind of been recovering, doing all that stuff for a while. I mean, I, you know, I own, I own a gym and uh, I own a fight promotion and kind of was just focusing on that stuff and everybody else and not really myself as much. You know, I wasn't really sure if uh, if a comeback was really going to happen or not. And then just over time, you know, I started feeling a little bit better and better and thought about doing it maybe early this summer. They announced the Kansas City card, and I was like, all right, there's no way I'm not going to fight in my own backyard. So, you know, we're talking a little bit, and uh, I, I told him, you know, we can we can do middleweight. Uh, it, would, it would be it would be a struggle, it would be hard, but you know, I could have got it done. And I came back and got uh, – how about Ed Herman at 205? And, man, I just couldn't think of a – a better fight, man. I I love Ed. I'm a fan. I'm a, a you know. I've really enjoyed bullshitting with him and stuff back in uh, in the locker room and stuff. Whenever we see him, like he's my type of dude, man. He uh, you know, he's he's well rounded. He's tough. He's durable. Uh, he's been around. Like you got to respect him. But so it would just be really fun to sit there and and compete with him for sure. Yeah. So you mentioned the the layoff. It's it's been a bit of a long one for you. Is ring rust a concern for you? I mean. A little bit, you know, sometimes you know, I've had injuries before where I've had like a year or a little over a year before. And it definitely takes not, uh, you know, it doesn't take a long time, but I mean, it takes a second to kind of get that feel back again. Uh, uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. I've, I've done this so many times. It's I know what to expect as well. I mean, I'm sure I'm, I'm sure there might be like a second to kind of like be OK to like put, you know, bite down your mouthpiece, go forward a little bit. And think, OK, like we're comfortable here. Like we can do this, you know? So, uh, I've, I've had some pretty harder sparring rounds in the gym and stuff to, to do that. Uh, you know I mean? Like guys like Dustin Jacoby and stuff and some high level guys and stuff. So, uh, I've, you know, done whatever I can to, to try to take care of the ring rust stuff. But I mean, it, it, it's happened before where it takes just a few minutes to kind of, you know, you get hit and you're like, Oh yeah, we're still doing this. So, uh, I don't think it's gonna be a big issue, but I mean, it it might last for the first half round or whatever. Just to, if it does hit, you know, just to kind of the filling out process might be a little bit longer. But uh, I'm not too worried about too, you know, like a full blown fight and, it, and affecting too much. Yeah. So you've been around the game a long time. You know, you mentioned you own a gym. You're 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 immersed. So you you've got a lot of different angles and experience. How do you because your opponent in coming in this fight, he's got a bit of a layoff himself. It's almost two years for him, almost three for you. So how does it? How does it usually play out when there's not just one guy coming off a big layoff, but both guys are, it's their first time there for, for a little bit. I mean, yeah, I mean, you, it's hard. Like it, was, it doesn't happen very often. It really doesn't, you, you know? Uh, but again, we've both been fighting for years, man. Like, you know, like we, we, we know what we're doing. We, we're, uh, we're very experienced in the game and stuff. So I don't think it's going to be, uh, a big factor i really don't i mean at least for me i don't think it's going to take me very long to get going uh and i mean you know same thing he's owns the gym you know he's been going and helping a lot of guys out and going live and stuff i mean it's not like we haven't been doing anything uh and stuff so I, yeah i mean and that dude's a fighter i mean I, he's you know he's like i said he's, he's been in he's been in the game for a, a hot minute you know and stuff so i don't think i don't I don't foresee it being much of a factor. Uh, you know, maybe some of our timing might take a second to kind of get there and stuff, but uh, I, you know, I, I think we'll we'll find each other and we'll start getting to work pretty, pretty, pretty quick. Yeah, I mean, on paper, it is a fantastic matchup, so I'm really looking forward to the fight. But despite the layoff, at the end of the day, you've won three of four. So 
you know, it's been a little bit since you got in there, but you're still on a hot streak. What do you think a, a win in this fight does to you in the, the grand scheme of things? Uh, I mean, the the coolest thing about this one for me, I think, is I get to be like one of a very select few people to get a win in three weight classes. Yeah. Uh, there's not that many people who's done that. Uh, two of them beat each other and they fought each other at 145 and 170. And that was Connor and Dustin. So, like, yeah, there's just not too many of them. Uh, so I feel like that kind of at least puts me in a a spot that, that not many people can say they've done, you know, if, you know, if I'm not going to be able to, to kind of reach like my, my goals of like being a world champion and stuff like that. Like at least that's something that I can kind of hang my hat on that uh, most people can't do or haven't done and stuff. So that's, that one's a big one for me. Uh, I've got, I got two fights on my contract. I have no desire to, to sign another one. I really don't like, I'm, I'm getting older you know, dealing with injuries, like I said, like I'm, I'm running my gym, I fight promotion, you know, and just enjoying family time and stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Like, I couldn't imagine any better way to end a career than like getting a, a, a win in three weight classes and like fighting in my hometown, all that stuff like that. But also, I, I love this stuff and not being able to do it for a while because of the injury it's been like, I just enjoyed the process again and I've really enjoyed it. And like, I I'm, I'm, I'm on the finish right now. If I'll do it again or not, uh, you know, I, again, like, it's like, it's, it'd be really special to go out in my backyard, but if I could do it again, I probably will. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I mean, I've, I've got this one, maybe one more with me and then I'll know this kind of slide over to more the coaching side and promoting side and stuff like that. I, I love this sport, but you know, I mean, I also want to make sure that I, I kind of take care of left of my body that, that I got and stuff. You know, uh, my two daughters are starting to get a little bit older and stuff. And and I just, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't have like a big run, anything planned. I mean, it'd be it cool to, to go on a win streak and, and do that. And, but, you know, more than anything, it's just kind of one fight at a time and go out there and uh, fighting and having my, my daughter's five now. So like, she was the one that kind of looked at me she's like, okay, like I want to see you do this, you know, like she, she loves all the other fighters at the gym and stuff like that. So it was one of the big reasons and motivators. So having her there in presence is going to be, it's pretty special. So, uh, you know, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how this one goes. And then, you know, if that little girl looks at me, it was like, let's do it again. You know, we might, we might be doing that too, but, uh, yeah, I'm not really looking forward to like any crazy, thing on on you past that yeah so it is your five-year-old daughter who's indeed uh your your mma future is in her hands i mean we'll see we'll see i i had no desire on like ha having a kid want to fight or stuff like that and i mean at one point i was like all right like i'm gonna force her to like train just for like self-defense purposes and i mean ever since she's three like she wanted in the kids classes she's like mean, she came out to denver with me for a couple weeks uh while i was training out there you know, she watched all the, the pro practice and like we came back and she did all the kids classes every day. They're like she loves this stuff. So um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I, I'm definitely not going to push her to to do it. But I mean, if it's her passion, and that's what she wants to do, then I'm going to give her all the tools she's got to, to be successful for sure. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. I mean, it's great to see that, you know, uh, such a veteran of the game of yourself is still going to be immersed in the MMA world because I know uh, I speak for a lot of fans and say we don't want to lose you but thank you so much for your time today I got asked one last question I would yeah. love to get what is the prediction for this fight how's this one going to go down oh man the prediction for the fight uh in reality just knowing how good and how durable and tough Ed is I expect us to sit there and knock the dog shit each other for three rounds straight I mean I get it uh but I have a lot of finishes. I got a lot of submissions. You know, I hurt a lot of people on our feet and then finished the fight. So uh, he's he's crafty on the ground as well. But uh, I, I think I get it done late in the second round. I think it's going to take a little bit to get timing that stuff there. And, you know, but I, I feel like my speed's going to be a huge advantage for me and eventually start setting in some power. And I think I can finish him in the second. Yeah, late second. That's awesome. Yeah. Zach Cummins, thank you so much and best of luck on Saturday. Appreciate it. Thank you.